Hello and welcome to today's video on how hairdressers can prioritise self-care to grow your business. I'm here to share with you some practical tips today on how you can take care of yourself as a hairdresser and why self-care is important for the growth of your business. You're probably used to putting the needs of your clients first. You want to make sure that they're happy with the services that you provide, the environment you're providing it in, and you're willing to go the extra mile to ensure that they leave you and your salon feeling confident and beautiful. But what about you? While taking care of your clients is crucial for the success of your business, it's equally important to take care of yourself. So that's why I've put together my top tips on how to prioritise self-care as a hairdresser. So today we are going to go through my six top tips on how you can prioritise self-care. Plus, I'm going to show you why it's important for the growth of your business. My name is Samuel Chapman and I have been where you are. I have been a hairdresser for over 18 years and I've been a self-employed salon owner for over eight years. At my lowest point, which was the first two years of being self-employed, I was having to beg for friends and family to give me food and money to take me on nights out because I didn't know how to run my business. I then put myself further into debt and I have so far spent tens of thousands of pounds on business coaches and mentors so that I could turn my salon into one of the top salons in its area. And I even opened another salon right after COVID. I'm telling you this because I have been given a lot of information. I have learned a lot and I want to give it to you. I want to see you succeed in your hairdressing career so that you can achieve your biggest dreams without the stress and the worry that I have been through. So let's get started. Six top tips on how you can prioritize self-care as a hairdresser. Take breaks. It's so essential to take breaks during your day so that you can recharge your energy and you can prevent burnout. By even taking a quick walk around the block to meditate for a few minutes in the staff room or simply just sit down and relax. Taking breaks can help you feel refreshed, focused and help your return to work to give your clients the best possible service that they expect from you. Practice good posture. As a hairdresser, you spend a lot of time standing and leaning over your clients. It's crucial to practice good posture, to prevent back pain and other serious injuries. To give yourself the longevity of your hairdressing career, you need to make sure that your workstation is set up correctly, you invest in comfortable shoes, and you make sure that you're working at the right height for you. You should get enough sleep. Sleep is essential for your overall health and well-being. Make sure that you get enough sleep every night so that you can wake up feeling refreshed and energised, ready for the day, so that you can give your clients everything they need from you and more. Eat a healthy diet. Eating healthily can help you make you feel better, both physically and mentally. It can also make sure that by eating a balanced diet, includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, proteins and healthy fats. Keep hydrated. Drinking enough water is essential for staying hydrated and preventing tiredness. Making sure that you give yourself enough time throughout your day to drink water by putting water next to where you're working and sipping in between clients. Even if you don't necessarily feel thirsty, you need to stop dehydration. Exercise regularly. Exercise is a great way to reduce stress, boost your mood and improve your overall health. If you can exercise at least 30 minutes every day, whether it's a walk, a yoga class, swimming, a workout in the gym, it will make a huge difference on how you can put yourself across to your clients to give them the best version of yourself so that you can have a successful business. So now that we've covered the top tips on how you prioritize self-care, 
let's talk about why it's really important for the growth of your business. When you take care of yourself, you're going to have more energy, more focus, and you're going to be more creative. And your work is going to be much more enthusiastic and honed. You'll also be able to be less likely to experience burnout, which can lead to decreased productivity. You won't want to be there. You have low morale and even physical and mental health problems. By taking care of yourself, you can help build better relationships with your clients. When you're feeling good, you'll be more approachable. You'll be more friendly and engaging, which help build trust and loyalty, not only with your clients, but also any people that are around you will see your work. They'll feel your vibration and they'll want to be part of what you are offering. Prioritizing self-care can set a positive example for your colleagues and employees. When they see that you're taking care of yourself, they'll be more likely to do the same and it will create a culture of self-care and wellness within your salon or freelance business. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you understand that as a hairdresser, taking care of yourself should be a top priority. By practicing good self-care habits, you'll have the energy, focus, and creativity to provide excellent service to your clients. You build better relationships and your business will grow as a result. I wish you all the best in your self-care journey and I can't wait to see you next time. Take care.